Good evening, Nigerians. My name is Comrade Yakub Abrazak. I'm making this broadcast on this day, 21st of June, 2024. Indeed, as they say, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. I'm pleased to inform you this evening that we are getting to the end of our journey. For the successful implementation of our awaited blessing, it is necessary for me to give certain clarity about this project. As I have said before, I wish to re-emphasize to you that this program is federal government project, not the usual grant that we have been subscribing for in grant community. So therefore, we must prepare ourselves on the modules of operandi, operational structure, aims and objective as well the target beneficiaries of this project. Of course, I know many of you will not be comfortable with this truth. But I want to tell you that this is nothing but the truth. This is the naked reality about this project. I want to tell you that I, Comrade Abdul, I cannot deceive you because I don't know how to deceive people. I don't know how to conceive the truth. And I don't know how to manipulate the truth. This is the simple truth about this project. This project is federal government project. Even though we are not comfortable, I have no option to tell you this. If there is anything contrary to this, I cannot explain that. So, we have to put our hands together. We have to open our heart to accept this simple reality. So, having realized this simple truth, we must remove our mind from the humongous promises that has been made to us by the previous failed grant handlers. And face the reality, of course, I cannot dispute the fact that we have committed our resources and our time on promises upon promises by, the, by these failed grant handlers, which I'm going to mention their names. Of course, we started from stock exchange market, led by barrister Donald Olorukayode. In this very scheme, we all were promised 10 billion naira per microfinance bank or outlet, of which the potential beneficiaries are to go with 10 million naira each. And after the fail of this grant, another one came up called Telpecom, the Less Privileged Empowerment Coordination Network, led by Reverend Elo Siri Chukumama, a.k.a. Elo Mama. On this scheme, we all were promised two billionaire per cluster or outlet, which potential beneficiaries are to go home with 10 million era, 2 million era each. I will regard stock exchange market led by Barrister Oloru Kaude, the mother of all the failed grants in Nigeria. And I will regard this very telpecon as the father of all the failed grants in Nigeria. And the third of them is Tiobat, led by Apostle Theophilus Oloche Eboni. On his, in his own scheme, he promised every unit or outlet two billion era, of which each potential beneficiary will go home with 1.8 million naira. I will regard this Tiobat as the master of all the failed grants in Nigeria. There are others which I will mention, but few. Commonwealth Grant, Golden Bridge Grant, Supreme Grant, Noble Grant, Secretary Grant, Refugee Grant, and the recent UAG Grant. All these grants, I will not hesitate to regard them as failed grant because they were unable to give us the promise they made to us. However, our hard-earned money has already been committed and our time were wasted. Having known this, 
I will be pleased to inform you that this very one we are talking about here, this very one I'm talking about here is different from this listed failed grant that we have committed ourselves in the past. Of course, I'll keep on repeating it that the federal government of Nigeria has established this very project for us with certain aims and objectives. This project is not about sharing money, and it is not free money. The project has been made to make meaningful impact in the lives of the less privileged and the downtrodden in this country. Consequently, which we have positive impact in the economy development of Nigeria. Through the instances of agricultural support scheme, that will improve the production of foods in Nigeria. Empowerment of various kinds, especially to the widows, unemployed youths, orphans, and even support to small and medium scale enterprises. Of course, there will also be provision of short and medium term skill acquisition programs. Furthermore, effective structure has been put in place for the successful implementation of this project. On this note, I would like to enjoin every one of you under the tune of this, my voice, that there is need for us to join our hand together with maximum cooperation in order to ensure effective and successful implementation of this project. Of course, I will not undermine the efforts and the support of our members all over the country. During the course of the pursuit of this project, I would like to sincerely appreciate every one of you. I said, may God bless every one of you as we are preparing to harvest our labor, the fruit of our labor. On this note, I hope that this my broadcast will not be misinterpreted. As I said before, I need to repeat myself. We are not grant handlers, but we are, all, we are only favored by God Almighty. As the federal government has found our platform worthy to be entrusted in the implementation of this project. Therefore, our endless gratitude and appreciation goes to the federal government of Nigeria. This administration, led by President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the GCFRN, we promise that we are not going to disappoint Nigerians. Uh, this project will going to be successful, successfully implemented and we are going to attach ourselves to the commitment on the tenacity of our dear president. Let the poor breathe. Finally, this broadcast will not be completed if I fail to recognize and appreciate our guardian's angels which God has sent to us to wipe our tears. In other words, we regard them as the disbursement committee. Indeed, your desire to support and assist us will not be taken for granted. We promise that we are going to discharge this responsibility and we are going to play the game in accordance to the rules. And I want to let Nigeria know that these people have made selfless sacrifices for this project to be made available for the interest of poor Nigerians. I want to make it crystal clear that these people made the, their position known to us from the beginning of this project that they don't need anything from us. And so far so good, these people have put upon themselves the burden and the responsibility is to clear this project, to make clearance for this project to be implemented. And I want to Nigeria to know that even they want us not to collect anything for the interest of this project. And so far so good. We have been able to maintain our stand. We have never sent anybody to collect money on our behalf. 
Neither have we made any humongous promises to people in regard to this project. Thank you all. God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless our president in person of Bola Ahmed Tinibu, the GCFRN. God bless this Bosman Committee Chairman. And God bless the entire members of the committee. God bless the grand community. This is from your ordinary president, Comrade Yaman.